Hello guys and welcome back to the last part of our hairbrush tutorial here. Um, so in the previous tutorials we created 3D sketches, we um, projected sketches to surfaces, um, we aligned objects to axis, and we created objects on a path. Now what we're going to do here finally is um, use some of the um, tools for lofting a um, handle. So that's what we're going to want to create is a handle that we can um, use, obviously, to hold this brush. So um, I'm going to activate our brush body component. And uh, we'll create a offset plane. We'll offset it from the brush a little bit so it's just kind of Touching them. Okay. So now we have that. I'm going to create a sketch. This will be an ellipse. It's going to come this way and up like so. Okay. So you can see now we've created this ellipse here. And now I'm going to want to join this as an actual object, an actual solid body, into our um, main body of the brush. What I'm going to do though is move it down a little bit. So uh, we'll go to modify, move, we'll move this down somewhat. There we go. Okay. I'm going to finish sketch. Now I'm going to choose to extrude. I'm going to extrude this into our main object, but we're not going to cut, we're going to join it. And that gives us the beginnings of our handle here, you see? And we're going to choose to extrude in two sides. So I can also extrude this side out a little bit. There we go. So now we have the beginnings of our handle for our brush. Okay. Um, now we can always go back and just edit this feature and extrude out a little more if we want. I think I'll make that about minus five. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to create another um, offset plane. We'll offset it from here. I'm going to offset about two millimeters. Okay. Now we're going to create another sketch which will be on this offset plane. And we'll create another ellipse. Same center point, but we'll go a little bit wider and we'll go a little bit taller. Now we're going to want to loft um, from this profile to this profile like that. So you see now what that does is it actually creates um, a surface geometry that joins those two parts together. Okay. So now we've done that, you can see we've got good beginnings of our brush handle here. This can now be extruded. create our handle. Um, that looks a little bit too square for me. So what I'm going to do is rather than doing that, we're going to loft again. So we'll create another offset plane. We'll go about five millimeters off this time. And again, create a sketch. And ellipse again. I'm going to go the same almost the same width, a little bit more, but I'm going to go fatter this time. So there's more for the 
hand to actually grip. Now we'll loft again. These two profiles, oops, it's the point. There. Okay. Now, we can extrude this, make the actual handle. Like so. So there basically is the handle of our brush. And now we'll just add a little bit of a finesse to the end of this. So now we're going to loft from um, this shape, which is oval, to a um, slightly squarish shape. So we will again create an offset plane. We'll go another, say, three millimeters with this one. And we'll create a sketch on this. This will be a center point rectangle. And yet again, we're going to use our loft tool. So you can see we've now gone from that round shape to a slightly square shape. Which I'm going to extrude. And we will choose a taper angle of 2 degrees, or minus 2 degrees, or a little bit more, minus 5. We can go more. That's eight. Actually, maybe minus three was good. Okay. And then finally, I'm going to add a hole in this. So. We will create a hole, choose the surface we want to create a hole on. Middle. Um, now I want this to go through all. And we'll have a seven millimeter diameter. And then we have a hole going to the end of the brush. Okay, so that is basically our um, brush. Now we're going to do some um, surface uh, work on this just to finish it off. So you'll see we've got some square edges, which we may want to round off a little bit. So I'm going to choose our Fillet. We'll fillet these edges. I have point five. Also add a fillet around here. Because uh, in real life you don't get these true 90 degree angles and it will help you with the realism of your renders later on um, if you have these small fillets which just help to add to the realism of the uh, object and the render that you may create later on.
problem with the 0.5 radius there. Okay. Just yeah, you do find sometimes the fillet tool to be a little tricky. Doesn't always agree with putting a fillet where you want it to be. You see, like here, fillet can sometimes mess up your geometry a little bit. So maybe it should follow this. So sometimes you have to play around with the fillets a little bit just to get it as you want it to be. And we'll add a larger than 0.5 fillet from here. It's around one. Okay, now, I'm going to do some appearance work. So actually, I want the end of this to be a different uh, colored plastic. So you'll see we've got a little bit of a um, funny geometry here. It probably came from the lofting. That's also why our uh, fillets maybe look a little odd. So let's just try that again. Try this loft again. See if we can correct that. The loft from here to here. Yeah, you see it's giving this little bit strange geometry. It's not really uh, what we wanted. So let's maybe go back and edit the sketch. It's possible by changing the sketch a little. We might be able to fix it. Let's see. Okay, I'm not sure why it's creating this geometry here. See, it's um, it's not even all the way around. So maybe I'll abandon putting this uh, square on the end. Instead of that, we will just fillet the end. Like so. And I'll extrude it out a little. And we fillet that. Like so. Okay, that's how we'll do the end of our brush instead. Um, okay, so we'll then apply, uh, I'll just put those radiuses back in. I undid. We will apply um, some different uh, textures to the faces. Oh, 
I'll just put all these releases back in. Okay. Um, so I'm going to make the end here black. So we'll select this, go to appearance, and we'll make sure we select faces. And we drag and drop onto the faces that we want this to be applied to. And we may have to zoom in a little so we can get into those parts. Like so. And also on this end here, fillet there that we'll apply the black color to. Okay, so that basically is um, done. And now we can choose to change our display settings to um, shaded, and you'll get a uh, kind of representation of it without any of the um, lines. So I think we've come out with you know a relatively good model here. Um, you could um, you know choose to render this. Um, and I think that it would look all right in a rendered view. Um, you may want to do a little more work on some of the textures so that this plastic looks a little more realistic, but uh, it's pretty good. Um, so there we go. That's basically um, the tutorial for how to create this um, brush here in um, Fusion 360, so we've covered a lot of different uh, tools. We've covered um, sketching, sketching in 3D, projecting sketches to surfaces, creating surfaces, um, texturing, um, aligning objects to um, axes that we've created that are perpendicular to faces. So we've covered a lot in these um, tutorials. I hope you found it useful. And uh, don't forget to like and uh, comment below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.